the start, What Have You is badly left, and leading the bunch to the first fence are Drim, Red Knight and Underbeer. Over the first fence it's Drim, Red Knight and Air God See Us, Invisible Fall. At the second fence, the two Irish horses are leading, Agid Sios and Royal Daniele, with Drim almost level. The third fence, and Agid Sios takes the lead with Royal Daniele, Drim and Underbid, and Fontet has fallen. Over the fourth and fifth fences and up to beaches, it's still Agid Sios, and here it's the shape of things to come. Battleship comes up almost alongside the leader, then Royal Daniele and Drim, and Brighter Cottage falls. Round the far bend and towards the canal turn, they're all bunched up, with battleship Agid Sios and Royal Daniele. Bang goes somebody else's shirt. Round the canal turn in the same order. And now the slow motion camera takes over to show you the beauty and thrills of the horses leaping and gliding through the air as they clear the steep obstacle of Valentine's Brook, a broad thorn fence five feet high and three feet three inches thick with a brook five feet six inches wide, one of the toughest jumps of the whole course. And now comes the tenth fence, and in a moment you'll see Agid Sios over first and then fall. Tragedy for the Irish horse. In the cup that follows, Red Knight takes the lead. Eleventh fence, Red Knight is about a length ahead of Royal Daniele. At the twelfth fence, it's still Royal Daniele and Red Knight, with Dunhill Castle third and Rockwiller fourth. Round the turn to the thirteenth, still Royal Daniele, fighting it out with Red Knight. Last fence before they reach the stand for the second time round, and coming up behind the leaders are Luff Cottage, Dunhill Castle, Royal Mail and Workman. The chair fence in front of the stands and Della Chance is coming up. Battleship almost falls. If he had, what a different story. And at the water jump, Della Chance is up with the leaders and Rock Lad falls. And now round the bend and into the open country for the second time. Round the bend of the 17th fence, it's Luff Cottage in front with Dunhill Castle, Royal Mail and Provocative. The 18th fence, and in the leading bunch are Dunhill Castle, Rockwilla and Royal Daniele. The 19th fence in the same order. At the 20th, Battleship is coming up again, and at Beecher's the second time, Battleship is in front with Royal Daniele, Della Chance, Luff Cottage and Workman, and Rock Pillar is down and so is Dunhill Castle. And here comes Beecher's in slow motion. There's Rock Pillar down, with Dunhill Castle almost on top of him. second time they go round the far bend towards the canal turn and fighting it out in front are Royal Daniele, Battleship and Della Chance. And now it's the start of the final terrific struggle between Battleship and Royal Daniele. Over the canal turn, Battleship and Royal Daniele. This is where Royal Mail is pulled up with a broken blood vessel. Over Valentine's, Royal Daniele, Battleship and Drim. And on to the tremendous final dash. At first there are four horses, Royal Daniele, Battleship, Workman and Drim. Drim drops back and soon Royal Daniele and Workman are neck and neck. 
Workman's jockey has lost his cap, while behind, just out of the picture, Battleship is coming up. And now comes the most terrific finish that Aintree has seen for years. Workman suddenly tires. Battleship on the near side comes up to challenge Royal Daniele. Between them is Tatwa Pasha, riderless. Down the course in front of the stands, there's nothing in it. Battleship on this side wins by a head, with Royal Daniele second and Workman third. The Grand National of 1938 will go down to history as the race that was won by a lad of 17, and the first time that victory has come to an American bred horse. Battleship's owner, Mrs. Scott, is so excited, she hasn't the nerve left to lead in the winner, as Aintree cheers the boy whose brilliant riding has won the toughest race in the world.